So what I was trying to envision, I was trying to envision, conceptualize Soviet era uh, Russian gay slang as a type of self-sufficient, complete language, uh, which is separate and distinct from standard Russian. I think it's very important uh, as well that Genya has turned to language um, in this new project uh, by recovering this um, uh, Soviet era uh, uh, gay and lesbian slang. I think that uh, Genya uh, is uh, putting before us that uh, medium of expression uh, that has been lost simply by the sort of passage of time and the changes in uh, uh, the way of life of, of LGBT people in Russia since 1991. Dan's research was very important for Yevgeny when you were doing this project, which we can see on the walls here, which were the images in color, which I received one day, it just plonked onto my desk, it, uh, published as a book called Moscow. And I didn't get the book until reading it backwards, I suddenly realized that these are a history of gay cruising sites in Moscow. This wasn't a kind of tourist book. Obviously, it was a very intellectual, ugly duckling press book. But the penny suddenly dropped. And of course, the photos became, as opposed to banal, they became uncanny. I mean, an obvious comparison for the, for the language in mother tongue is the uh, British Polari that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, this kind of coded uh, queer language that grew up in um, post-war London in particular. And that was the, um, the obvious comparison to me and as somebody who's lived my whole life in the UK but with a strong interest in Soviet culture, it's really interesting to be able to draw, draw that parallel in, in this work. So the poems in the book, they are as if I were writing in, uh, in poems in Latin or in, in Hebrew in 19th century, trying to use a, a, a so-called dead, dead language, but still produce literature in it. 